What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. So today we're taking a look at using the built-in FSR technology in SteamOS here on the Steam Deck. And most of you probably already know how to use this properly and it was probably self-explanatory, but I've gotten a lot of messages actually asking me how to get this to kick in and how to use it. Um, properly. So anyways, you're going to want to have your performance overlay set to four if you're checking for FSR on or off because they did move that. It used to show up in two, uh, but I need to be on four. And FSR, of course, is our scaling filter. This is part of AMD's technology used in games with FSR 1.0 and 2.0, but this is built into the Steam OS. But it doesn't just work automatically. There's things you need to do manually between your sharpness and your resolution for this to kick on. So I just wanted to show you that in this video so you know how to properly use it. Now, I'm going to use God of War as an example of a game that has built-in AMD FSR. So you don't need to use it on the Steam OS. And I wouldn't recommend it. Any game that has built-in FSR, you're good to go. You don't need to worry about it either way. So here in God of War, you can see our output resolution and our actual render resolution, which will change based upon our performance, ultra performance, quality, and balance. Balanced FSR 2.0 settings that we have down here. So that gives you a general idea of what that scaling is doing as far as the resolutions. And this is something that works great inside of God of War, helps increase your frame rate, take some stress off your system and that type of thing. But when you're using in-game FSR, it's not going to show up as on or off over here in your menu. And what about games that don't have built-in FSR? Well, we're going to use Elden Ring as that example. So as we get into this, I want to go into the settings here and show you of course, you can see FSR is off right now, even though we do have it turned on in our Steam OS menu. And then there is no FSR or DLSS or anything like that in Elden Ring. So I'm just showing you through the settings here. Um, so this will be something that we do with the Steam OS built in FSR. And you can see this game does also allow lower resolutions than 720, which you're going to need in order for this to kick on. If you're in 720p to 800p, FSR won't kick on either way. You need to be under and not all games have those options. Um, some you can do in the Steam menu as well and lower their resolutions, but some games just flat out won't let you do it. Um, without <clears throat> many workarounds usually. But anyways, our FSR is on. I'm leaving the sharpness at 4 default for now. And we'll go ahead and change our resolution to something that will scale, like our 576 here. So you can see FSR instantly kicked on and is running and working there. So there you go. I've had to manually change that. It's not like built-in game FSR where it's going to automatically scale and change things for you. This is all stuff that you go in and you do manually. You're going to run it at what resolution you want. You're going to run it at what sharpness that you want to. Um, and you can go in and do all of that manually. And that's how that works to turn your FSR on or off and, uh, and get you going. So let's go ahead and get into game um, just so you can see it working here a little bit. As we sit in this one spot, we're around 30 to 33 FPS. Uh, with FSR off. We'll go ahead and go into our settings here. You can do all this right in game. You won't have to restart or anything. We'll go ahead and go back to our 576 here and take a look. Now we're not going to get a huge bump or huge increase in this particular game, but you can see, you can tell the image is being sharpened. We still are on that four and we've gone to about 36, 37 FPS, which those few FPS sometimes can mean the difference between a game being playable or not. Not so much in this game's case. I'm pretty impressed with Elden Ring on the Steam Deck, but this is a good example either way. Go ahead and go down to 540 and this is something you can mess around with and have fun with and get the uh, kind of performance that you want again we're going to stay very similar um more stable on the 37 so we didn't gain much there with that little bit of change but anyways you can go in also mess with your sharpness from uh zero all the way up to five and see what looks good for you different games could look different when it comes to the sharpening probably something between two and four is what you're typically gonna want when it comes to the sharpening but for the most part you can play around with that per game and get it set the way you want to as well but that's it that's how you use fsr properly on the steam deck and get it working you can see it turned on in your stats here and you'll be good to go so anyways guys hope this helped you out if you haven't already subscribed thumbs up ring the bell and let me know what you think in the comments i appreciate you coming to watch as always and i'll see you in the next one